Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. I've got another awesome tutorial video for you guys. And today I just want to show you how you can move your chorus. Let's say this is your chorus to the exact spot. Um, I I'm going to let you listen to this. Like my singer is singing and once she's done, the chorus just goes to the right, just starts uh, from the right place. Listen to this. exactly where i want my chorus to be so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna delete this chorus and i'm gonna also delete this chorus i'm just gonna take it out now let's say you are recording and you want uh, immediately your singer uh, stops singing you want the chorus to come in and most times it's like this uh, i'm gonna hold ctrl and d then i'm gonna take it there most times you have to like zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and try to do guesswork like you're guessing where it's supposed to be so let's try it let me guess now oh no that's not the right place maybe here no 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 where am i supposed to be here Oh, no, 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 where am I supposed to be here? Too fast. Uh, where is this car supposed to be? So most times you try to guess and try to guess. Not, not until like it's really worse. It's, it's a waste of time. You, you find that your time is just getting wasted and wasted. The thing that you're supposed to do in like few seconds like just find yourself doing it in it's really frustrating and you know but i'm gonna show you how so let's say you want to move this chorus to uh the exact uh spot the exact place immediately your singer like stops singing then your chorus just falls in the first thing that you need to 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 do is make sure uh you record your instrumental is in the right tempo so like my tempo is on 52 and make sure you record in the right tempo then uh secondly make sure here right here where it is written um grid type grid type on this one make sure you put it on bar don't put it on beat don't put it on uh, quantize i mean um use bar put it on bar this is where it's supposed to be and then you come right here where there are numbers 41 45 49 or 29 33 just right click and then put it on bars and beats and then down here it has to be on time linear so bars and beats time linear first thing your instrumental has to be in the right tempo then secondly on your grid type it has to be on bar then number three right click on an empty uh, space where the numbers are and put it on bars and beats and then time linear then uh number four don't forget to snap on to put on the snap you've got to put it on or else it's not gonna work your 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 chorus is not gonna be in the right place where it is supposed to be so make sure you turn it on so now i'm gonna turn it on now Bang. just like that it's on when it's on it shows blue it turns blue when when you put it on and then uh number five what you have to do can you see this line right here this line uh there is a line here there is a line here this blue line just get the first vocal and just take it back to the exact uh, where the blue line was more like cutting it just take it back and then uh highlight uh the the the, the chorus that you want to move to to uh the right spot and then control d to duplicate and then watch what is gonna happen i'm just gonna take it right there watch this so it, it just if let's say it was here it just goes to the right spot and then don't forget of course to take it back and then just uh, line it remove that and snap and just take it back to watch this now
I didn't even waste a minute. It was just within seconds. I'm gonna do it again. Out. Bar. Buzz and beats. Time linear. Snap on. Then if it was like this, I just have to take it where the blue is. Take it there. And then, um, oops. And then a uh, highlight. Duplicate. Control D. And then watch this. And there we go. I can do this to to the other parts that I deleted. For example, here's the end. Watch this. Exact place that I'm gonna do this and just duplicate the chorus. As simple as that. This is the way you do it if you want your chorus to be exactly where it is supposed to be no more guessworks you don't have to guess where it is supposed to be you you just have to put it on bar then put it on bars and beats time linear by uh right clicking then snap on and then make sure that you record the, your song in the right tempo that is gonna work for you I hope this video helped you and if it helped you please don't forget to subscribe and also give me a like I really want that like so I'll see you in the next one